Improving offensive performance through opponent modeling. In military and athletic competitive environments, it is critical to understand the opponent and use any available knowledge of the enemy to gain the advantage. We use the Rush 2008 football simulator to perform our research, which explores techniques to improving offensive performance with no online learning. What you're watching is the Rush 2008 football simulator developed by Nexus Research from the 2005 Rush football game. On the right is a spatiotemporal trace of the previous play executed 50 times. Each dot represents a location visited by a player. The image on the left is the Bayesian representation of the most likely path traveled by each player, which is the path used in our algorithms. In this play, the offense was only able to gain an average of 1.6 yards against the defense, not good enough to gain a first down and will produce a turnover with the defense gaining the ball. We focus our research on ways to improve yardage gained by the offense using only prior observation of the defense in action to perform an adaptation of the offensive play. This video discusses how our research seeks to accomplish this goal. We begin with a high-level description of the system. As the play starts, the offense records the defensive player's movements, and after the third time step, there is enough data collected to send to a set of support vector machines. The set of support vector machines is used to identify which play the defense is using based on prior observations of the defense. Once the offense is aware of which defensive play is in action, it can use prior observations to determine the play most similar to the current offensive play, and which one performed best against this defense. Once the offense has identified the best historical play for this particular defense, there is a decision to make. The first choice available is to do nothing and continue the current play. Another option is to change play orders for all offensive players. Or we can take a hybrid approach. We can change orders for a key subgroup of players and leave the rest alone. Based on the play shown at the start of this video, which produces a mean of 1.6 yards per play, the system determined this to be the optimal play which gains an average of 2.5 yards against this defense. As mentioned, once the optimal play is identified, if this play is historically unsuccessful, we can either change orders for all players, which we found in this case to improve performance by only 0.1 yards, or we can pick a key group of players and give them orders to change to the optimal play. This effectively produces a completely new offensive play. We identified three groups as shown here based on players' proximity to each other. Because the quarterback is a central player in American football, we use the set of players with the quarterback as our key group, which is the quarterback, fullback, and running back. When we change just the key group of players, our play now looks like a hybrid of the current play and the optimal play, and performs in this case astonishingly well, gaining an average of 18 yards. To determine the optimal play, the system must not only find plays which historically performed well against this defense, but also must be similar enough to the current play to not cause a lot of backtracking by the offense wasting valuable time. When we talk about similarity between plays, we are referring to the closeness of the sum of the features for all players. These features include the sum of the distance traveled, the sum of the angles, the max and min value of the x and y coordinates traveled to, and finally the start angle and the end angle. This animation shows the offense changing all the players to the optimal play, which produces an average gain of 1.7 yards. Now we switch using only the key players producing on average 18 yards against the defense. Notice the play looks very much like the original, but has switched from a running play to a passing play. When we ran the Rush 2008 football simulator across all possible offensive and defensive plays, we observed the yards gained was an average of 3.6 when executing a change order for all players. However, when we executed a change order for only the key players, we achieved even better performance gains at 4.2 yards average per play. Our future work is focused on having the system automatically calculate its own subgroups based on player correlations. For further information, please visit this URL.